From Kelly Severide's surprisingly potential exit from the show to Leslie Shea's shockingly unexpected death, these are the Chicago Fire's most controversial moments. This original series in the One Chicago universe, Chicago Fire, has been burning things up for its loyal fan base and has rapidly become one of the most watched TV shows. Ever since its launch in 2012, it's kept audiences hooked for 11 whole seasons, with over 200 episodes filled with intrigue, drama, and a little controversy here and there. The high-risk on-duty lives of the elite firefighters and paramedics, as well as the off-duty daily crisis management of Firehouse 51, has kept the fans intrigued for years. I mean, we've all got a little too much invested in this show by now, am I right? Now, the show itself has a rather impressive score of over 80% on Rotten Tomatoes, and it's built up this whole army of fans that has fallen in love with the show's super relatable characters and the blazing action drama. Despite all those rave reviews, no network show that's been running for this long has managed to satisfy every single fan with every single episode. Impossible. Over the extensive run of the show, there have been several scenes and entire narratives that simply didn't sit well with viewers, often causing controversy and even anger. Yep, Chicago Fire fans have been especially unhappy with regard to the latest news about one of its central characters, Kelly Severide. It's been quite a few weeks since actor Taylor Kinney's character exited Firehouse 51 for a one-of-a-kind elite OFI camp in Alabama. While everybody was under the assumption that he was there. Turns out he had different plans all along, which not even his wife, Stella Kidd, knew about. In light of this new update, fans took to social media to riot and express their anger over the latest development. Many of them weren't happy with the twist and demanded to know where Severide was, if not in Alabama. Fans were also upset that his wife had no clue about his whereabouts. The Stellaride fan base was not happy. It was the middle of the current 11th season when news broke out. Kenny immediately requested some personal time off. Other than a vague explanation, of having to deal with family issues, there really has been no other revelation as to why this drastic move suddenly had to be made, with barely any details regarding Kinney's status in the One Chicago universe. It isn't exactly impossible that his temporary leave of absence might turn into a permanent exit from the show, even if that does end up happening. Chicago Fire needs to bring him back, at least for one last time. Hey, the fans and Stella need closure. I mean, other than the professional stuff he left hanging at Firehouse 51, he had just married Kid. It would cause a major uproar and disappointment if he just sort of permanently disappeared from the show, leaving Stella, especially after everything they've been through. I can't promise you that his absence will surely be temporary. So whether he's back at Firehouse 51 anytime soon or not remains to be seen as of now. As you muse over Kinney's possible exit from the show, you might distract yourself and focus on other interesting aspects of the storyline in this show. The only thing hotter than the blazing buildings on Chicago Fire are the show's controversial hookups. If I'm being honest, the romance on this long-running One Chicago franchise is just as big of a draw for the fans, as are all the action-packed emergencies the crew has to deal with. But among all these hot romantic pairings that are keeping the fans hooked, very few can match the heat of this fiery love triangle between one particular firefighter and the two gorgeous women in his life. Of course, I'm talking about Matt Casey and his two love interests, former partner, firefighter, and paramedic Gabby Dawson from the early seasons of the show, and paramedic Sylvie Brett, whom we've seen recently join Firehouse 51. Now, after Gabby left, Brett and Casey formed a close friendship, which soon turned into a cute, romantic connection. Their relationship was filled with mutual support and, of course, their shared experiences as first responders. That's got to bring you closer, right? The complications began when Gabby eventually came back to the the show. Obviously, her departure had left a void in Casey, which had somewhat been filled by Brett. But now that Dawson was back, where'd that leave the new duo? Fans were torn between this newly developed love triangle and debated whether they were on Team Dawsey or Team Brettsy, causing further controversy and division in the show's loyal fan base, considering which character Casey should really end up with. For most fans of the series, the consensus was with Team Brettsy, as they argued that the couple had a little more magic going on in their lives and that Dawson was only ever concerned about herself, and her reactions to petty issues were way too dramatic. Ouch. Team Dawsey, on the other hand, claimed that Brett and Casey as a couple. It looked like their relationship was just too bland. Well, clearly, the fans have differing opinions about this complicated dynamic. But which team are you on? Is it Team Dawsey or Team Brettsy? Sometimes it's not the discreet romances or the big secrets that cause controversy on a show. It's the way some characters end up saying goodbye. And that's exactly what happened with Chief Evan Hawkins, whose death on the show came as a 
complete surprise and shock to the fans. During season 11, the crew is called to a movie theater that's engulfed in a terrifying fire, which quickly gets out of hand. Even as we head into the episode, we're made aware that someone isn't going to make it out alive. Naturally, the premise had the fans panicking over which Firehouse 51 member could potentially be in danger of losing their lives. But little did we know, we would not at all be prepared for Chief Hawkins to go the way he did. When he showed up at the scene to assist, we didn't really think that anything would happen to him. After all, the teaser made us think it was someone inside the fire who wouldn't make it out alive. After the entire crew made it out safely, the fans fans were quickly reminded of Hawkins, who had noticed an elderly man in need of help and was stumbling out the door. Being the good Samaritan that he was, he rushed to help the poor guy. But it was at that exact moment that the building ended up collapsing on both of them. While Hawkins managed to save the man's life, he died while doing so from all the injuries he'd sustained when the building fell on him. It was a devastating scene, as the fans couldn't fathom that the unexpected had actually happened. Hawkins' presence on the show, especially his romantic romantic pairing with Violet was something that the fans couldn't get enough of. It looked like we would all finally get to see them together after their secret romance was revealed at the end of Season 10. Instead, Hawkins died a terrible death in front of Violet in the most shockingly unexpected way. When the building collapsed, the fans knew they were right to assume the worst. But the moment that really sent the fans into a spiraling frenzy was having to watch Violet process the loss of her beloved, where Hanako Greensmith delivered the performance of a life time. While character deaths are a rather common occurrence on long-running TV shows in general, it never gets any easier to digest them when they do happen. Take Leslie Shea's death, for instance. During Season 2, Leslie is responding to a building fire when tragedy strikes unexpectedly. A pipe collapses, striking her in the head, and she ends up dead from the injuries. The death of Shea's character was extremely unexpected and shocking for the fans, who really thought she was going to be a series regular. In fact, the impact of her death caused a lot of friction when it aired, especially after learning that the fire was caused by one of the building residents, who was also an arsonist. With Shay's death, the writers wanted to create an emotionally charged storyline. That would also impact the rest of the characters on the show. They wanted to give more depth to some of the other characters and give the viewers something they wouldn't have seen coming. Unfortunately, this decision wasn't quite received how the writers and producers intended, and fans were angered at seeing one of their favorite characters from the show die a painful death. The controversial argument here was that Leslie's death was not only unnecessary, but it seemed to serve only one purpose, a mediocre element of shock value. While viewers wanted more out of her character, the writers felt that her story was done and dusted, and it was time to move on and focus on other aspects and storylines in the show. So, from Leslie Shea's shockingly unexpected death to Kelly Severide's surprisingly potential exit from the show, these were the Chicago Fire's most controversial moments.